Man, all the news decided to break at the same time this afternoon. On a serious note, we had that tragedy in Kansas City. Pray everyone in Kansas City is okay right now. We have got to get to Jon Stewart at some point this week. Jon Stewart has proven my point. He has proven what we have known all along. The problem in late night television, it's not the format. The problem is the host. We had this continuing cat fight in the NBA between Yusuf Nurkic and Draymond Green. We have Ryan Clark begging ESPN for more money. We might get into Ryan Clark later in this video. If not, we might get into it tomorrow. First, we have got to get into the ultimate cat fight between Pat McAfee and Bill Simmons. Pat McAfee, he doesn't only engage in fake fights with oiled up men and wrestling rings that, for some weird reason, they've always called a wrestling ring a squared circle. Patty McAfee, he also likes to engage in a war of words. According to the New York Post, Patty and Billy, they are involved in a beef. Who knows? Maybe they'll get into the studio and they'll record diss tracks against each other. I can already hear Pat McAfee's rap in my head. We know you're old, you're past your prime, really, but Billy, why did you have to go and hurt my feelings? <laughs> That's how this beef started. Once again, Pat McAfee and his feelings. Look, I respect Pat McAfee. I respect his grind. I respect his hustle. But I swear to you, this dude, it just seems like he can't take criticism. Every time there is a hint of criticism involving Pat McAfee, it seems like he gets in his feelings about it. This latest feud between Patty and Billy, it all started last month and really throughout NFL season when Bill Simmons went on his podcast and did a perfect impersonation of Pat McAfee. He was talking about the Pat McAfee show basically emulating the vernacular made popular by Hulk Hogan back in the 80s and 90s. I don't know, brother. Patrick Mahomes is the goat, brother. Aaron Rodgers is the man, brother. Bill Simmons was criticizing the way Pat McAfee and his group of unknowns break down sports. And I don't know if I would even consider this to be criticism. Bill Simmons was simply doing an imitation. What's that old saying? Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Are we going to start getting mad when we are impersonated on Saturday Night Live? Well... I can understand the frustration with SNL. In the past, it was considered an honor if you were impersonated by SNL, but that was during a time when the show was actually funny. Today, Saturday Night Live is a 90-minute dump that no one gives a shit about. But impersonations, they are nothing new if you are a regular listener of Bill Simmons. Back in October, he did an impersonation of Chris Collinsworth where he pretended that he was spanking the wanker while watching Zach Wilson attempt to play football at the NFL level. So it's not like Bill Simmons is doing something new just to target Pat McAfee. Impersonations are a part of his show, kind of like impersonations are a part of my channel. I'll let you be the judge, though. You tell me if this is worth getting in your feelings about. Listen for yourself. Why? I don't know. I don't know. We're not allowed to talk about Pat McAfee. Let's do it. I don't know. He starts the show and be like, Cowboys, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> What's going on there, bro? And then it cuts to his three people. Right. And then they'll be like, well, I don't know. And then they'll go back to him. He's like, it's not good, bro. Not right. good. Not keep an eye on that, bro. Yeah. Two of them are looking to take their first cigarette break. <laughs> <laughs> and then McAfee's just uh, going to... We don't have a rundown, bro. <laughs> no rundown on the show, bro. Duke's a hazard lot. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, Mike McCarthy, it's not looking good for him, bro. It's not looking good. Not looking good for that guy, bro. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Pretty harmless, right? Now, to be completely fair to Pat McAfee, Bill Simmons has been taking... I guess you could call them cheap shots, for lack of a better word. Bill Simmons has been critiquing Pat McAfee all season. Monday, I guess Pat McAfee finally had enough. He decided to get into a cucumber measuring contest with Bill Simmons. Both Patty and Billy, they will release their gambling picks. I guess they release their gambling picks through the sports book that sponsors their shows. If you are naive enough to follow their bets, I would encourage you to put your money to better use by smashing the super thanks button below this video.
I don't even have to look at their records to tell you whether or not Pat McAfee and Bill Simmons are proficient sports gamblers. I worked at a sports book for many years. I can tell you with almost 100% certainty, neither one of these dudes are making money through picking games or picking parlays. The only way they make money is by convincing you to give your own money to their sponsored sports books, where they probably receive a generous kickback on all the money that you lose. But Monday, Pat McAfee decided that he had finally had enough of Bill Simmons impersonating his show. He put his cucumber on the desk and he explained to his audience that he is bigger than Bill Simmons. Watch for yourself. I think Bill Simmons, who has it all figured out, yep, I think uh, he had like 8,000 yep, people yep, riding yep, alongside yep, him. Yep, like 8,300, I think. Dude, that's a hit. huge number. Yeah, yeah it did not hit. That's no. really big. Really good, Bill. You still have it. I think we had 250,000 yep. people or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Keep running your mouth, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Keep running your mouth. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you're going to attack someone based on numbers, you better be damn sure that your numbers are in order, your numbers are impressive. I noticed that Pat McAfee didn't go after Bill Simmons being canceled a few years ago by HBO over low ratings. Huh. I wonder why. I wonder why he highlighted affiliate marketing numbers instead of highlighting what television hosts are usually judged by, their ratings. Maybe because when HBO canceled Bill Simmons over ratings, his ratings are higher than Pat McAfee's ratings are right now. But good for Pat McAfee, though, that 250,000 people followed his bet. That's probably a larger number than watched his show on ESPN on Monday. I noticed, though, that he didn't specify whether his bet won or lost. I'm sure the quarter of a million people that followed his betting advice, they were able to take off work Monday morning because they made so much money. <laughs> Bill Simmons, though. Bill Simmons wasted no time responding to Pat McAfee, and Billy decided to hit Patty where he knew it would hurt the most. He decided to highlight the one area where he knows there is a giant insecurity. Bill Simmons decided to criticize Pat McAfee's ratings, or I guess a better description would be his complete lack of ratings on ESPN. Last month, ESPN issued a press release boasting about record ratings for damn near every show on the network. If I remember correctly, I think we talked about this earlier this week. Get Up with Mike Greenberg, record ratings. First Take with Shay and A, record ratings. Outside of the NBA, damn near every show on ESPN is growing their audience, except... For Pat McAfee. And it's not like there is some gigantic hurdle that he has to climb over. When comparing year to year, all ESPN is asking of Pat McAfee is to draw a larger audience than Sports Center. But for some reason, this has been incredibly difficult for Patty and Bill Simmons. He decided to point it out. Watch for yourself. Everybody's sports ratings are up on TV. Like we just had the Super Bowl came out. It was the most watched Super Bowl ever. And then you see like ESPN, they do at the end of the year or the end of the month, be like highest ratings ever for Get Up and all these different shows. Same for Fox. All their shows are up. Everybody's ratings are basically up except for the NBA and whoever replaced the 12 p.m. Sports Center. Bill Simmons knew exactly what he was doing here. He knows television ratings are a source of consternation for Pat McAfee. From what I have seen from Pat McAfee since he debuted on ESPN last September... He is going to respond to this. I would be shocked if Pat McAfee ignored it and didn't respond. Three weeks after his show debuted, we did a video here on the channel talking about Pat McAfee's ratings getting off to a slow start at ESPN. Several hours after that video was published, Awful announcing other media sites, they published articles on Pat McAfee's ratings. The following morning, ESPN issued a press release defending Pat McAfee. Now, all of this could be purely coincidental. I don't know if me talking about his ratings on this channel was the reason that the media suddenly started talking about it and ESPN issued a press release on it. What I do know, the following morning, Pat McAfee addressed his ratings on his show. If and when he responds to Bill Simmons and he decides to defend his ratings, you already know what Pat McAfee is going to say. We're huge on YouTube, brother. 250,000 followed my betting advice, brother. We're growing on social media, brother. We are finally in the mainstream, brother. 
Now, in Pat McAfee's defense, he would not be lying. Pat McAfee is extremely successful. He creates controversy. He generates headlines throughout the mainstream media. He has built a massive platform. He's got millions of viewers that watch him on a monthly basis. Me personally, I have never said Pat McAfee wasn't successful. Unlike Bill Simmons, I have never taken shots at his show. The only thing I have ever criticized Pat McAfee about was his inability to draw ratings on ESPN. Isn't that what they are paying him for? You know who else draws big numbers on YouTube? Skip Bayless and Undisputed. But if he keeps drawing 75000 on FS1, I can't imagine that Fox Sports will continue to pay him seven, eight, nine, ten million million every year. ESPN is paying Pat McAfee $17 million to draw on ESPN. Now, to his credit, He is doing his part to create controversy, draw attention to the show. He's doing his part to get his show talked about in the mainstream. The problem is, none of that is translating into television ratings. Last Friday, Friday before the Super Bowl, Pat McAfee, 288,000 viewers. I would say that's a record low, but on January 31st, he drew 253,000. Stephen A. Smith is controversial too. There have been times when Stephen A. has said something that puts ESPN in the middle of a shitstorm. A couple of times, Stephen A's even been suspended by ESPN over something that he said. But executives at ESPN, they are willing to tolerate it because Stephen A draws an audience on television. At the same time, we have also seen ESPN very hesitant when it comes to controversy, especially when the person creating the controversy is deemed to be replaceable or expendable. Fired Kurt Schilling. They basically pushed Sage Steele out of the network. Remember what happened to Rachel Nichols? ESPN has all but admitted in the past that they tend to make business decisions based on social media reactions. Just look at all the controversy that Pat McAfee has either created or been involved with in the last six months at ESPN. The cat fight between Aaron Rodgers and the captain of the Disney Bruce Caboose, Kimmy Kimmel. Pat McAfee generated headlines by attacking his bosses at ESPN on live television. The media has been pressuring ESPN to remove Aaron Rodgers from the show. The poll released by The Athletic several months ago, which showed ESPN viewers cannot stand Pat McAfee on college game day and now the cat fight between Pat McAfee and Bill Simmons. How long will this be sustainable if Pat McAfee continues to fail at drawing ratings on television? I keep making the same comparison to Don Lemon in his final year at CNN. Like Patty, Donnie was struggling to draw ratings, but he was always at the center of a media controversy. After a while, CNN finally decided that enough was enough. Donnie was making a fraction of the salary that ESPN is paying Pat McAfee. The New York Post. They made an interesting point today. They were talking about all the enemies that Pat McAfee has created since he joined ESPN. According to the New York Post, Bill Simmons, he could be Pat McAfee's toughest opponent. Bill Simmons has a lot of influence behind the scenes in mainstream sports media. And just like Pat McAfee, Bill Simmons has a tendency to hold a grudge. The New York Post claimed that Bill Simmons doesn't have the power to get Pat McAfee instantly fired, but Pat McAfee engaging in a catfight with Bill Simmons could be more problematic than it appears on the surface. Either way, I think it's entertaining, but give me your thoughts on this. Bill Simmons, Pat McAfee involved in a catfight. Pat McAfee is bothered that Bill Simmons impersonates his show pretty much pretty much criticizing him. Pat McAfee responds by basically claiming that he has a bigger audience, to which Bill Simmons responds and says, your ratings suck. (laughs) It'll be interesting to see how Pat McAfee responds tomorrow, if he responds to Bill Simmons tomorrow. But who do you think wins this cat fight? Also, do you think Pat McAfee will eventually become more trouble than he's worth to his bosses at ESPN? Let me know. Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. I appreciate each one of you guys and your continued support. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.